There's a version of the Bible you can pick up at any local bookstore. Wait, there aren't really many local bookstores these days. Well, you can find this version of the Bible mostly anywhere online. The Bible is available. And it's known as the message. Now, now here's the thing. Technically, the message isn't a translation of the Bible, but it's more like a, a commentary or a paraphrase of what the Bible is saying. It's always best to have a, a good translation of the Bible, like the New King James or New International Version or New American Standard, and then maybe to reference the message supplementally as it has a way of putting the heartbeat of the text into modern language. Listen to how the message gives insight into a very well-known verse that's really about not losing heart. It comes from Galatians 6. Paul writes, so let's not allow ourselves to get fatigued doing good. At the right time, we will harvest a good crop if we don't give up or quit. Right now, therefore, every time we get the chance, let us work for the benefit of all, starting with the people closest to us in the community of faith. You know, I recently heard a story of this woman named Ruth, who in 1965, as a divorced mother of two, well, she found a classified ad offering a restaurant for sale. So she did everything she could. She mortgaged her house to purchase the restaurant and named it Chris's Steakhouse. Well, in 1976, a fire forced her to relocate. And under the original purchase agreement, she named it Chris's Steakhouse, and that name could no longer be used for that location or any other. But she'd built up this customer base and she didn't want to give up. So she decided to use her first name ahead of Chris Steakhouse. She had her attorneys check it out to make sure it was legal and she had this good following and out of all of that came Ruth Chris Steakhouse. And now it's the largest luxury steakhouse in the country. And I say that to say this, listen, when you're following the Lord, you know it's always too soon, too early to quit. Paul says, don't get fatigued, hang in there. And I wanna encourage you, maybe you're in a place where you're following the Lord, doing what he's called you to do. And maybe you've hit a roadblock. Maybe there's a challenge. Maybe you feel like you're fatiguing. Listen, all those who are used by the Lord do. But I believe God's word for you today is don't quit. Keep following, keep seeking, keep pursuing the Lord. You never know what'll happen if you just keep going, but you do know what'll happen if you quit. Nothing. And God wants so much more for you than that.